Chapter 16, 4, 19 a.m. Lynn kept her promise about getting me hooked up. About two hours before dawn, the phone rang. Hello? This is Jowd. Sissel, are you listening? We need your powers. No time to talk. We'll be waiting for you. It's crazy how many allies we have now. Well, you'd better get going. Why is it? Why is he looking at me? He's looking at the player. This long night is drawing to an end. Yeah, looks like it. Thank you for all your help tonight. I'm the one who should be thanking you. At the other end of the phone line, I'm finally gonna find all my answers. I'd better go. A single telephone line connects me and the other Sissel, but that single line spreads out like a spider's web to ensnare the fates of many people. And I just reached the center of the web. Oh, this is a big place. We might be moving around quite a bit in this, these last two chapters, or at least in this one. Welcome to the Yanoa, Detective Jowd. My detective sense must have gotten rusty. I didn't even sense your presence here in the dark. That's because I switched the power to my mask off, Detective Jowd. I used your phone. Hope you don't mind. Gad, I never thought you'd track us here, especially seeing as you're a death row inmate. And I'm equally surprised about your choice of transportation. A submarine, eh? But how did you find us, my man? Not even the police knew where the Yanoa was going to surface. Confound it. We detectives have a little saying. If there's something you want to know about a case, ask the criminals. The bullet in the man, the bullet the man in red shot with, hold on. The bullet the man in red was shot with had a radio transmitter in it. I have a little something for you. Cabanella has given me some pretty weird presents in the past, but they always prove useful. This one was a radio receiver, made to look like a pocket watch. Ah, sneaky sneaky. Hmm, yes, Inspector Cabanella. I hear he's an excellent investigator. By the way, where's that man in red? I know he's on the submarine somewhere. Ah, Sissel, you mean? Oh, hi! You! You can relax. That's nothing but his shell. His shell, eh? His spirit isn't here right now. Most likely, right about now, he's controlling your daughter. Please, I beg you, let my daughter go. If you take a hostage, take me. Just please, let her go. Bah. There's something our nation needs. Sissel has it. That's all we care about, my man. Nothing else matters. However, it would appear 
Sissel has underestimated us. He's left behind his precious bargaining chip here. Bargaining chip? Our nation has already researched it. This product that Sissel has to offer. The source of his powers! Wh what in the world was that? The Temsic Fragment. It gives spirits special powers. And now our deal with Sissel is concluded, as far as we are concerned. What are you talking about? Tisk tisk. What a mistake to make, to make right at the most critical moment. Now then, Detective Jowd. Farewell. Where are we going? Hello? What in the world? The whole room just vanished. Detective Jowd, where did he go? What now? I think I heard an explosion somewhere. In any case, Lynn and the little lady should be here somewhere. I smell danger. I'd better find them, and fast. All right, let's see what we got. What's this? So you're here, huh? It's Missile! Yay, Missile's here! Yes, I think I even remember who you are by now. What do you suppose that shock was a minute ago? But with my loss of memory, I can't say I'm much better. Anyway, let's hurry up and go save Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla! You think that trusty nose of yours can sniff them out? I'm sorry to see. I don't think it can. Why did I even bother to ask? But you do have the power to swap objects. So let's go find that lady detective and the little lady together. Telephone is ringing. Wow! It's Miss Camilla! I just know it! My trusty nose is practically screaming at me! I think you'd call that more of a hunch. Anyway, let's get to that phone before it stops ringing. You bet! Okay, well. Baseball. There we go. Okay, swap them again. Oh, maybe not. Oops. Okay, wait. We need the base. Oh, man. I just need to get. Stop doing that. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Switch em, switch ems. Aw, oh, we were too late, though. <laughs> I think I just heard a little explo another little explosion in the distance. I've got a bad feeling about this. I better answer it fast. Okay, okay. 
Mm, I think we can get there. All right. Hello? Is anybody there? It's her, the little lady. It's Sissel. Where are you? Somebody please answer. I guess she can't hear my voice. You too, huh? Oh, good. I thought she was ignoring me. Somebody help me. Lynn. Lynn is... She said Lynn. Who's Lynn? We'd better hurry. Let's go, Sissel. Go there. It's no use. Nobody's answering. Oh, Lynn is... She's dead again. She's there in the water. Miss! Miss Camilla! And... Miss... Miss Lynn! Oh, poor Miss Lynn! Yeah, she can't seem to catch a break. Looks like another tragedy has happened. Sorry to keep you waiting, little lady. Sissy! I knew you'd come! Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! And Missile, too! I'm so glad to see you're alright! Well, I wouldn't see him alright exactly. Hey, wait a minute. Missile, your voice. I think I remember hearing it somewhere before. What? My voice? Hmm, that's right. Camilla has a core now. So that means she did hear Missile's voice before when he saved her that time. So that was you, wasn't it, Missile? You're the one who saved me in the park tonight. Thank you. Miss Camilla, I'm so glad I was born your little doggy. <laughs> hey, Missile. Could you stay here and watch over your mistress for a while? Huh? But don't you need me, powers? I'll see what I can do on my own for a while. After all, you're the only one who can protect her. Okay, I... I'll do it! Thank you, Missile. I wonder what happened this time. I better talk to the little lady a little more, and then I better do something about the detective lady. All right, let's talk to her. Let's see. Can I talk to you a minute? Yes, sissy. Could you tell me what happened to you? What happened after I last saw you at your old house? Oh, let's see. After that, I think I fell asleep. I woke up to the sound of an engine. So she was already in the submarine by then, eh? I thought to myself, I have to escape. The next thing I knew, I found myself in this big room. I was so tired, I couldn't move. And then... Camilla! I was so relieved. I don't remember what happened after that. She must have passed out, the poor thing. You've been through so much. You were very brave. I think Lynn's probably been through more than me. You've both been brave. Let's, uh, let's do this again. How many times is this that we've saved her life? Like four or something? Oh, Sissel, you're here. Lynn, what in the world happened here? I, I don't know. Huh? I just sort of blacked out all of a sudden. Next thing I know, I was dead. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know in that case. And where's Detective Jowd? Is he all right? I... I don't know. Huh? The room he was in just disappeared all of a sudden. Now it's all making even less sense than before. 
After we left the super's office, we followed after the man in red. We tracked him with that radio transmitter. Inspector Cabanella fired into him with the bullet. The man in red took a boat out of out to sea from a small harbor on the edge of town. Detective Jout and I managed to secretly stow away on his boat. And then we sneaked into the submarine with him when it surfaced. Before long, the submarine dove back down again. Detective Jout and I decided to split up. He would take care of the telephone line and I would look for Camilla. I found Camilla hiding here in the engine room. She had escaped and run away here. Wow, that's quite an adventure. What happened next? I... I don't know. Huh? There was a flash of white all of a sudden. Next thing I know, I was dead. Oh boy, it sounds like it'd be quicker to see for myself. All right, rewind. Let's see what happened. How did you get yourself killed this time? Camilla, are you okay? Well, damn, what the- Oh, she was being manipulated. Camilla! Hello, Lynn. Or is it detective now? It's been 10 years since we last met. Are you... Are you really that man from the park 10 years ago? Well, well. I see there's no need to introduce myself. Give Camilla back. She has nothing to do with any of this. Afraid I can't do that. This is my last chance. The phone is ringing. It's not for me. Nobody ever calls the dead. Unless you're Sissel. Our Sissel, not, not you, Sissel. It's complicated. The fact that you're here means that my revenge plan has failed. Revenge plan? It didn't happen tonight, did it? His execution. Well, knowing him, I half expected as much. That's why I was waiting here like this, waiting for him to show up. Wouldn't it be just what he wanted? to be executed by his own daughter. I heard about 10 years ago. I feel sorry about what happened to you. But revenge? Nobody could possibly know what I've... What in the world? An explosion? Uh-oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. Have I been had? Look out. I didn't know who was saying look out. <laughs> I think it was Lynn. Look out! Revenge, huh? That's a feeling I just can't understand. Of course not. You're not him. She's right. I'm not him, am I? He was going to shoot Detective Jowd. As Camilla when he came to rescue her. It's just too horrible. Anyway, let's bring you back to life. Again. <laughs> you didn't have to add the again part. So let's see, the cause of death this time was that mysterious explosion. You're pretty up for a dead woman. You know how detectives love a good mystery? It's like a shot of vitamins. And what do you mean for a dead woman? Anyway, I guess we should look for a way to stop that explosion. All right, let's do this thing. Finding clues is like a dose of minerals to a detective. I'm afraid with my memory loss, I have no idea what vitamins or minerals are. All right, so if we need to find... Oh, um, do I need missile already? What the hell? I 
can't why did the wheel oh the wheel's back in its original position i guess we gotta wait missile won't come Again. I don't know why I always do that. down the receiver somehow managed who's to say that's not how i planned it come on hurry now's your chance to get on the phone it might be detective jowd she's right i better check it out hello anybody there if anybody's still there get yourself here on the double we're about to head out speak up why don't you answer anyway come if you're coming we're leaving uh go there might as well give it a shot so it must be true what they say that there are re restless ghosts aboard that does it i promise to turn over a new leaf mom he calling restless ghosts well it's true neither one of us is rest really resting in peace anyway it looks like the sub just lost one of its crew hmm i guess that means the fate of this sub has changed slightly hey we got a checkpoint sissel has underestimated us he left behind his precious bargaining chip here It's Detective Jowd! What's going on there? I saw this deal go down once before. In just a moment, the man in red is about to get his Temsic fragment taken away. Okay, we can lower these two switches. Turn a valve. Open a waste basket. Let's see what happens. It won't budge. Maybe it's broken? Well, I guess I don't have to lower it right now. And even if I ever have had to move it, I could probably get Lynn to do it for me. Alright, so we won't worry about that. Turn the valve. What's this? I don't get it. What's happening? They decided to conclude the deal without the other party present. They're just going to go ahead and steal the Temsic fragment. Huh? But that's... That's cheating! I think we have more important things to think about right now. Where's the Temsic fragment going to go? You're mine at last! The objective has been achieved! Now we detach the control room as planned! Yes, sir. Farewell, sir. S Sis, 
Hazel, what just happened? The whole room just disappeared with Detective Jowd in it. Don't worry, Lynn. I bet Detective Jowd can take care of himself. The main thing right now is rescuing you and the little lady. I can't believe this is happening. Now then, I'd better hurry along before Cecil discovers what he's lost and comes after me. The Yanoa will be his coffin. May it lie buried here in the deep sea forever. Farewell, Cecil. Um, away we go. Ah, so that's the cause of that giant explosion. Huh? What is? Don't tell me that's another thing you've forgotten. The torpedo! It's like, well, you've heard of a missile before, haven't you? Yeah, sure. It's a dog. <laughs> but a different missile comes more readily to my mind. It looks like he plans to sink the submarine with that thing. This is not good! We have to do something before that torpedo is fired! Alright. Lower this. We can't let it launch! But what can we do? Let's just get the torpedo as fast- Get to the torpedo as fast as we can! Maybe we can find a way to stop it somehow. Somehow? A true detective never gives up. Well, we certainly can't just ignore it. There's no time. It's gonna launch. Don't worry. We can still find a way to stop it. What? How? Even if the torpedo does launch, we just have to stop it from detonating, right? There's still something we can do. I hope. Why was the I hope at the end the strongest part of that sentence? Okay, here goes. Torpedo! I came along for the ride without giving it too much thought. But was this really the best move? I think so. We just have to keep it from going off, right? I'm sure this poor little rat will thank us too. How in the world did it get in here? <laughs> That's a very good question. Very good question. And we can operate this joint. I think these outside parts are supposed to be weights of some sort. The spinning black things, right? Apparently, their spinning helps the torpedo maintain its balance. They must be pretty heavy. I wonder if we can use these weights to our advantage somehow. Stop the gyroscope. Examine the detonator. This is probably the detonator. Hey, don't press it. The torpedo will explode. Uh-oh, better be careful. But you know, there should be a safety device around here somewhere. Safety device, huh? That sounds promising. We have to put that safety on before this thing blows up. Oh, hold on. You know how a torpedo works? Actually, I don't. Do you guys? No, I can't see I do. Wow, detectives sure do know a lot. I saw it explained once in a book. On impact, the fuse in the tip is depressed. That in turn sets off the detonator. The detonator, huh? That must be that red button. So how do we stop it? Hmm, they didn't explain anything about that in the book. Wow. Detectives sure know a lot, or not. All right, let's try stopping both of these gyroscopes. Huh. 
<laughs> oh no. Great, we've dumped the little creature off. Wow, those weights were heavy enough to turn the whole torpedo over. Now for that safety device. Right. Okay. Um, I guess operate the joint? What else can I do? There, we've clamped the safety device on. We did it! That should keep this torpedo from exploding. But there's just one problem. Problem? What's that? The torpedo is still going to impact. We can't do anything about that. Uh-oh. What was that noise? Hmm, looks like the torpedo still hit the submarine. But it looks like the submarine is still okay. This changes everybody's fate, including the little rats. Sissel, we did it. Yeah, but how is that rat gonna escape? What's the matter? You still look unhappy. We stopped the torpedo from blowing up, but we still opened up a gaping hole in the submarine. Hmm, you're right. I guess... I guess that's just what missiles do. They're unstoppable. Huh? Am I hearing things? Anyway, I guess we better get back to the present as quickly as we can. Right, I'm worried about Camilla. All right, that was, uh, that went without a hitch. We managed to stop death for now, but it hasn't disappeared altogether. It's now slowly but surely filling the room. Uh-oh, water's seeping in through the hole where the torpedo hit. I've got to get them out of here. I'd better go meet up with Lynn. Examine the fan. Each of these three machines is equipped with a fan. Now that I take a closer look, it appears there are two sizes of fans. Starter, operate. The lights went out, but this machine st apparently still works. Unfortunately, I guess it won't run for very long. But maybe I can use its movements to help me create a path. I better hurry over to Lynn. It's not safe to stay here, and I just don't have the power to stop that water from coming in. Okay. We're good, we're good. Examine. Looks like a pipe. It's made out of glass. I see a lot of cracks in the glass. I can't fix them, but I guess I don't have to. of here before any more water comes in. Sissel should be along any second. I knew Sissy would come. 
And Missy is here too! I'm so happy everybody's going to be with me now. Aw, oh, poor thing. She's so exhausted. Camilla! Miss Camilla! I'll get you out of here. If it's the last thing I do! Oh, I think I'm going to cry. Or whimper, as the case may be. I better send a signal to Lynn that I'm here before it's too late. Oh, look at that flashlight. It's Cecil. He's here. Up you go. I'm glad you're here, Sissel. Sorry for the wait. It looks like this room is gonna fill up with water fast. We better get out that door as quick as we can. We won't be getting out that door, I'm afraid. The water pressure is already too great. It can't op I can't open it. What? What does water pressure mean? Think of it as the force of the water holding the door closed. The water level keeps getting higher and higher in here. So the only way out of here is up, huh? Exactly. Okay, got it. Let's look for a path that goes up. I see a ladder. Hey, look at that ladder. I wonder if we could get it down somehow. Good idea. Let's try it. Oh, and by the way... Yes? I can't swim. Neither can Camilla. Don't you have any good news for me? Hmm, let me think about it. In the meantime, could you hurry up, please? Open the fuse box. Move the hook. Wait, wait. What's this? Open the door. There's a door here too, but it's stuck or something. I can't open it. I'll leave it to your superhuman strength, detective. Alright, move the hook. Oh, the hook is stuck. Oh, what are we gonna do? Try closing the fuse box, maybe? Oh, wait. Looks like the water seeping in isn't the only thing we have to worry about. Huh? Sissel, the flashlight doesn't work anymore! Hey, don't get mad at me. Maybe the contacts are going bad or something. Hey, I know! You can fix it with your powers! Okay, now that's just taking things too far. Uh... Turn on flashlight? It worked. Oh, hey, great! Did you used to be an electrician in your past life or something? That's a cruel question considering the circumstances. Now, all we have to do... Is get to that door, and we're safe! I really think she should have gotten away from that edge. Oh... Wrap. I 
think we're gonna need missiles help for this one. Ow! What happened now? Looks like the submarine decided to rear up on its hind legs. I can't believe we're still okay after that fall. Either we're really lucky or we're dead and we just haven't realized it yet. Come on now, as if the latter could be true. What now? The water sure is rising fast. Come on. We'll just have to go up to the top. Let's see how I can help with my ghost tricks. Well, well, I think I see a familiar flame over there. Sizzle, there you are! How's it going? How's it going? I'd say it was going pretty badly. You do understand how dangerous the situation is, don't you? Of course! After all, just ask anybody who knows me how, who knows me how much I hate taking a bath! Maybe he's been in danger of drowning before himself. Okay, ready to create a path for the ladies? Of course! Missile is best, bro. Alright. So, we can swap the fans. Um, but I'm really not sure... Fire extinguisher, a piston here. So this is a medium fan. Medium fan. And a large fan. is there and the flashlight where's the mouse is the mouse okay can't switch those What else do we have? So we have the small fan, a pipe. We can switch these pipes. All right, I don't know. But I guess let's start swapping stuff. can move now. All right. These pistons sticking out right in front of me. It's almost like they're taunting me. Maybe it's a challenge? Oh, I might just be... It might just... It might be just that. Think you can climb them? Hmm. If I wasn't holding Camilla, I could probably do it easily. Cecil! You're not telling Miss Lynn to leave poor Miss Killa Camilla behind, are you? <sighs> could you just be quiet for a minute, Missile? These pistons sure do look like they could be used to our advantage. Alright, so... I think we need... To get the large wheel at the bottom and the small wheel at the top and a 
Um, middle, medium wheel. Like that, right? Small, medium. Oh, wait, or is it the other way around? Oh shit, I think it's the other way around. Oops. Start it. Hey, there, how about that? Wow, this is great. You made a staircase for me. You better hurry. I don't think that water is going to wait for you. Go, missile, go. no way to go around either think you can do something of course we can we have to trick time that turn a wheel pipe okay we have to swap the pipes it looks like so by closing this valve i've shut off the steam flow to that first pipe oh oh i did it at the very end so i didn't get to see what it did Okay, well, if that's the case, then... We need to put this... one here this one here and then this one here And then we turn the wheel and I think we should be able to be good. Okay, okay, okay. I, I get it, I get it, I get it. There, how does that look? It looks great! All that horrible steam is cleared out of the way! Okay, it's not far now. Try to move forward. Missile? How can I yell at you 
when you're so sweet about it! Uh, I think you just did. Let's go! Let's look for something to pull Miss Lynn up with! Yes, something to whisk Miss Lynn up and glide her ever so gently to the top. Hey, are you being sarcastic? Okay. Now this is what I'm talking about. Okay, raise away. Jeez. Way to ask for something. Okay, um. Could we swap it with something? Like. I don't know why I would want to swap those. Emergency light, a wheel. Back to Sissel, let's see. Open? It's no use. I can't budge it. It must be stuck. Oh no! Okay, I'll take it. What just happened? I can't believe my eyes. Lynn, the little lady, suddenly vanished, leaving only darkness and seawater. The submarine continues to stink, sink down, down into the deep, deep sea. But I still want to try and make my way up as far as possible. I still want to head up to find a single ray of light, light to illuminate the truth at the bottom of this deep, deep darkness. Nice! Okay, perfect! 